Oh, this is nice. Another flashback. I can't wait to see how- Denied. Now that's the return of the greatness that is Jirocho. The chapter reaches to the end of Sotatsu and the beginning of Shinra's downfall. Though I hope I don't get a surprise attack. It has a great total package of action, humor, and a satisfying conclusion to the past that wish to see the future. The last chapter left an intense note of the counter attack and it was determined to be the end game of Sotasu. This chapter has sick action set pieces with everyone taking a stab, slashes, and many types of maneuvers. It flow naturally so it's easy to see and get excited. Shinra continues to show how hell-bent they are when it comes to hitting the target. Sotasu stabs right through his men to get Jirocho, taking the element of surprise in a cruel manner. My favorite moment begins with Jirocho grabs the enemy and Sotasu stabs her the same way as before. It's like he has to do it so he can get the win, even though it's dirty. However, the best part is the setup. I like how detailed it is on one area with many bodies lying around rather than someone managing to clean up the hallway because anime logic. Sotasu has an ego talk that he got this win and his clan always works dirty. It was only then that I realized the badass surprise attack was ready to happen. I love how it sequences to the moment that something epic is about to happen as Jirocho managed to kill two that were aiming for him yet at the same time Sotasu's sword begins to break. I thought Jirocho became a man of steel and starts to redefine logic or something. Instead you get one glimpse of an arm with sword piercing through bodies and then BOOM! Gintoki is there. That panel with everyone spreading out is a great shot. I would love to see how the anime pulls this off. In this series, there is no time to wait on anything else, so they proceed to strike them before a second gone by. Jirocho got the gang, and Gintoki got Sotasu, and they're done in a samurai fashion. Instead of clashing against each other, they did to the enemies with quotes to boot up. It's so great. What a return. Usually I save the comment on the presentation later, but I have to praise the action set pieces because if the vision didn't look as good as this, it would have been just an action scene. The setup and timing of execution are done very well that it gives me the intensity. I like how it was well executed on the surprise and everything works fluidly. The sequences are so much fun to watch. I also like how the environment feels busy but not messy in terms of getting lost in his visual. The ending is like cool money shot moment and rightfully so. After the action ends, we are treated with perhaps one of the funniest moments of this arc. Honestly, I was ready for another flashback from another character, even though I would think some don't need to have one. Enter Kasuro, who did start off reasonably since the battle is halted with more on the way, and the flashback was looking to be a typical old gang member story. But maybe there's something special about it, right? Nope! Jirocho completely shuts him down in the flashback no less. I laughed so hard at that very moment. It's the execution that got me good. It was in the very next page to see him rejecting the flashback. So I assumed the next page was going to be Jirocho showing him the light. What is the right way to be a gang? I was dead wrong. I still laugh at even thinking of it. More series needs to pull this off to save us from multiple flashbacks. The fun doesn't end there however. Pirako was told that she's the young boss but Jirocho didn't want her to be part of it. At first I was thinking, okay, yeah, he knows the limit. What an understandable father. He even said that it would be bad for her mother to see her in that role. I was pretty happy of how responsible of a father he is. The real answer is simple, aim even higher as the group boss. That way her mother would be so proud. Is this contradicting or am I missing something here? What? <laughs> what the? You know, at least Kasuro can be the young boss forever. So that's the good news. Even though Jirocho continues to bury that title, almost seems like there's no point of it at all. Gintoki is there like, whoops, I should have made him into a shish kebab. 
In the end, Jiro Cho understands the value of people and the city, which proceeds to a swell conclusion of his flashback. No rejection necessary. The symbolism behind their words is pretty heartfelt. Tasugoro predicts that they will return home when Atose grows old. With the pace they were going, but they will return home as old men. It's pretty saddening because this very moment is where he dies, in which has Jirocho losing his sight of his intention. Now that Jirocho finally returned home, so does his best friend, spiritually. What a swell end. This may end one phase of a war, but of course, it has many more to come. And I'll say, bring it. It is a satisfying chapter with a damn good action, hilarious moments, and a tender conclusion of an old man's dream. I'm giving this chapter a 9. Well now we have Yato clan to work with. Then again, Shinra clan seems not over yet. And I don't know if Sotasu is about to pull a Ogai moment, but maybe he really is down. And I'm still wondering if Ogai is fighting against the other people outside. Because we have been looking at the interior, which was a lot of fun to watch. But now it's time to get back where we started from. What are your thoughts of this chapter? Do you think we're going to see the Yato clan in the next chapter? Or maybe we're going to have a little bit more with Old Guy or something else entirely? I'm hearing the anime that's going on right now is going to end at episode 12. So that means they are going to hold on until the manga finishes up. But that means they don't need to rush the manga. Regardless, it is strange on why they're doing this way. I guess the demands was too high. Which still, it could have been like, maybe we should just hold on. But then again, maybe... Maybe I'm wrong about the 12 episode thing. My thoughts are told? Don't let yours on hold. Leave a comment below. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this and want more of this, subscribe to my channel and my world will be yours to stay. Until next time, take care.